She's too sexy for this game. Did you do like We a... are back in the fort, Ram. What are you talking about? Did I do a what? Why do you want to ruin Did my video, bro? Huh? I, I love ruining your videos. Oh my god. It's just the minute you got here. That's where that's where it all ruined it. All right, guys, we're gonna talk about Mar Jade. Say hello to Ooh. Ram Bam. He is over here. To try to keep me corrected, and I know what you're all thinking. Are you all right, Mort? Are you feeling okay? Listen, he's got a relic Mar Jade. All right. I don't. I've got a three star. You can't see it right here. This is a three star Mar Jade. 85. She is geared. I want more mods on her, etc. But I will not commit to her completely. But I do highly suggest now that she is out there that you chase her. It's cheap energy. I think it's a 16 energy node. But yeah. anyway, let's go in and start talking about her kit. I'm going to put up uh, my recommendations. And the other part of this, too, I wanted to see a high level account versus my account. This is one of the ones where the community is modding it the same way I am. So I don't think in any manner there will be many arguments over this one at all. So let's go ahead and get started with her. I want to go through the kit first. Uh, basic deal special damage to target enemy twice and inflict days for two turns if enter emperor palpatine is the leader he assists if it's mara jade's turn otherwise a random ally with useful pawn assists dealing 50 percent less damage which we'll get into that in a second here is a zeta i'm going to take that zeta off real quick dispel all buffs and inflict stun and vulnerable notice the trend here we got a lot of debuffs potency for one turn on target enemy then deal special damage to all enemies and inflict tenacity down for one turn. Add the Zeta. This ability deals double damage to shocked enemies and to Jedi. She's got a cool kit. Mm -hmm. The other Zeta. Stripping it off. Deal special damage to all enemies and inflict offense down, shock, and stagger. More debuffs, Ram. For two turns. Mara Jade gains stealth for two turns and 1.25% turn meter for each debuff inflicted for this ability. With Zeta, we're going to add on. If Emperor Palpatine is in the lead, he also gains that 1.25% turn meter for each debuff inflicted by this ability. So two potential Zetas out there. And then Emperor's Hand. This one is where you can put the Ami for a TW, which is a it's a good Ami, I think. But it's a GL killer. So yeah, so it's it's great for TW. But I'm a GAC guy. I'm not a TW guild. I'm not doing it. Um, but that's just me. If Emperor Palpatine is in the leader slot, notice the trend, Palpatine in the lead. Uh, if he's in the leader slot at the start of the encounter, Empire and Sith allies have plus 20% offense and potency. Otherwise, all other dark side allies gain useful pawn until the end of the encounter, which can't be copied or dispelled. Mara Jade has plus 10% critical chance, critical damage, and offense for each ally with useful pawn. At the start of Mara Jade and Emperor Palpatine's turns, she gains a stack of loyal hand, max 20 stacks until the end of the encounter. Here's another cool part of this kit. If Jedi Knight Luke Skywalker is on the enemy squad, Mara Jade blinds JKL for one turn at the start of her turn, which can't be evaded or resisted. Get, get rolled. Uh, useful pawn, minus 5% critical chance, critical damage, and offense. Loyal hand, plus 10% max protection and offense. I am not going to cover that Omicron. Uh, feel free to read that if you guys want, but... That is not my goal here. My goal is to for the typical, versatile, pre-modding, pre-relic, and post-relic. So uh, let's go ahead and get into that right now. Looking at uh, my recommendations to start out. Uh-oh, something screwed up on the screen. On my recommendations to start out, the first thing you notice is the trend of potency. You've got a lot, a ton of debuffs. Trying to fix that one second. There we go. Ton of debuffs, so she's going to need a load of potency. I don't care what level she's at. Mm -hmm. When she starts getting into the relic levels, notice in her kit it said gaining crit chance, crit damage, stuff like that. Offense. Later in the game, and Ram could probably talk more about that, but early game, I'm more concerned about potency, dropping debuffs, uh, contributing to the team as a team player, and getting everything out there and keeping her alive so she can do that. Ram, at the relic level, do you add offense? Do you add crit? What do you do with her? No, it, the the stats stay the same. Her speed is is crucial. She typically will get out there uh, under Palpatine lead. She'll get out there before a lot of players, and sometimes even including Vader, depending on how your Vader's modded. Um, and she'll just start start the TM train essentially, and then it's just uh, the whole team just keeps on going and going. So it's like a mini M trooper team. Um, 
crit damage definitely for the triangle if you can spare it i i for one i just swapped over to a crit damage uh, triangle um i think i had a defense on because of the speed but i found a better crit damage along the way um potency cross is a crucial crucial must she has a very low base potency i have a relic five and she has uh maybe a 30 35 percent potency base um but so she you, you definitely from palpatine's lead right so you get the 35 percent potency you get right. the 35 from from that the 35 percent from from palpatine lead and then you also uh you know you assuming you have a potency arrow or a cross which is crucial and a potency set uh i mean i have currently on her uh 43 extra potency um with set and a and, and a cross and also under palpatine lead like vader getting that insta turn from dropping debuff she drops a ton of debuffs herself mm -hmm. i believe it's her middle ability that drops all the, the majority of the debuffs so no first the the middle ability stuns and puts uh, tenacity down and i i believe it was vulnerable as well uh, is what the middle ability does and then the last ability down the uh sound the stagger the shock okay the so both of, basically both of them are doing it but any debuff and yeah. when an empire ally inflicts a debuff during their turn they gain 20 percent turn meter so that's why you, sometimes she goes back to back she'll throw one down land a shit ton of debuffs and then get an, another turn right back and then on top of that, when they expire under Palpatine lead, they all gain 5% turn meter too. So mm -hmm. you've got a mate. That team was already the turn meter train. It's even better now. It's disgustingly good. And my yeah. understanding is what in, is it TW with her? What's her? She goes with star killer as well. Uh, TW and GAC, uh, especially GAC, obviously because star killer primarily works in GAC. Uh, I'm not saying that he doesn't, but he works in other G in GAC primarily. That's where his Omicrons are. Um, but yeah, you put Palpatine Lee with March 8, you're fulfilling two, two of Starkiller's requirements, and it also puts a, a pretty tough team to take out, uh, like Geo Ray or, or somebody with. All right, let's take a look at this. So the majority of the community right now is uh, doing speed, four speed with two potency, same thing I recommend. Um, unlike the last video, 22% uh, are doing that, and then 16% are doing health with speed which I'm okay with too, especially if you've got a potency cross and uh, potency secondaries as well. And I don't know why this is only showing that. The triangle, the majority is showing critical damage or crit chance or offense. It's a pretty pretty mixed up in that one. 42% uh, potency in the community. Protection and health split on the circle and the arrow is 94% speed. This mm -hmm. just screams speed, 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 speed. So as was just pointed out to me, the... Uh... The crit chance in offense is also very, very important to her. Um, yeah, obviously, you want her doing a lot of damage, and she does have a low crit chance base. Um, so, you know, keeping that crit chance triangle is probably probably good, you know, considering you don't need a, a crit damage and I as necessarily. I talk about this all the time, too. If you can't do crit damage, if you don't have crit chance. If it, she's one in five, she's doing it. So crit chance is also a good, uh, good one to have on there. If you can't get yeah. it on the secondary. So you can't go wrong with it. That's why I said at the beginning of the video, I shamefully only have a three star. So I'm missing out on what 20 some speed from having her at gear 12 or a relic. Um, and I have not invested in her speed, but I definitely invested in her potency. She's sitting at 50 extra, 50% extra potency. Uh, what else she got? She got the damage is obviously low, etc. but my main goal as a new player who did not wail on this character was to get the potency up so I can drop debuffs, get fast turns, get the rest of the team going, get Palpatine going if I add the Zeta. So there's a ton there. Looking up top, you see the circle uh, recommended just like they did. Pr Prot and health, arrow speed, triangle. Uh, I actually recommend or at my level, protection and health. And when you get to Rams level, crit damage or crit chance or offense. So I want to point that out. Most of my videos are pre-relic. You're gonna say something, Ram? All right, look no, like you're um, gonna say something. No, I, I was I was simply agreeing with you that okay. speed speed is king on on her. Definitely want the potency, but speed is king. And I'm getting away with it right now because I'm making sure I don't bring her in against teams where she's gonna get outrun. Two thirty five at my level is a little bit on the slow side. I just I don't have the speed mods to give to her right now, unfortunately, because at three stars she's just not she's not worth it compared to guys that I got at relic. Um, secondary stats, speed, potency, protection, offense, crit chance. Notice I got crit chance uh, on that list as well. And again, the mod types are speed times four and two. I'll show you my mods real quick. Uh, I basically gave her all my 10 to 12 mods just to get her started out. Offense, which will be later on. I'm kind of 
kind of going toward having offense on her as well. Potency right there, 4.2%. Uh, potency 2%. Potency 3.37. Potency 1.46. So wherever I could find it, including the cross, is what I put on her. And I tried to get as much health as I could get on her as well. So big factor. Let's put this up here. Now, the the good thing with her is obviously she's usable. She's one of these four characters released for Starkiller. She's very usable at low stars and low gear levels. And the reason why is totally because agree. the team that you run her with, Vader and Palpatine, you put her under a, a, a semi-fast Vader. He's going to get all the bonuses depending on what you're going against. He's going to get all the speed bonuses from that team, which allow him to get out there, do the Force Crush, and then do the uh, do the Merciless Massacre. And every time a de debuff is dispelled, that just simply speeds up the team, keeps that Terminator train going. And then once Mara takes a turn, you, you're pretty much owning that Terminator train at that point. She's going to gain too many, too many, especially with those Zetas. She's going to gain too many turns and just completely massacre the team with the tenacity down. You land the stuns and it's, it's, it's over. It's over at that point. So um, at, she is very usable at low stars, low gear levels. Some of these new characters I've put Zetas on, but I have not invested in her yet. And the reason is this, this Zeta adds this ability deals double damage to shock enemies and Jedi at three star. I'm not doing any kind of damage. I'm right. just, I'm not. So it makes no sense to me to put this mm -hmm. Zeta on. Not like with Talon and the rest of them. 100% I'm not putting that on until I've got some damage ability on her. And then that's the wrong one. I'm back. This one, if Emperor Palpatine is the leader, he also gains 1.5% turn meter for each debuff, debuff inflicted by this ability. I'm on the fence. I'm on the fence with this one. I've got Zetas to put around, but I also have a GL I'm about to open. So if I gave this to her and then my GL... Actually, how many's cat got? Well, we'll talk about that later. But so I'm kind of on the fence about if I want to use this one or not. Do I want Palpatine taking an extra turn since my Palpatine's Relic Seven? Hell yeah, yeah I absolutely. do. Yeah, absolutely do. Hell yeah, I do. So I'm uh, highly I'm gonna, considering I'm you, putting this one on. I'm gonna tell you why you should. I'm gonna tell you why you should. Is because you read it, inflict special damage to all enemies, all enemies. So you're typically going against a team of five, so five people, and you're inflicting one, two, three debuffs per person, right? Per person, and then times that by 1.25 times five. Oh, that's right? a good so point. So three people because point. they already have tenacity down. Yeah, that's a good so point. you're landing most of those debuffs anyways with a potency set. You're landing most of those debuffs, and so 1.25 percent turn meter. Look at Ram easily getting turns big into brain. what 15 percent turn meter right there. Boom. Oh, there you go, Ram. Just, just do it. There you go. Do it. It's worth Done. it. 100 percent. Done. He taught me into it. 100 percent. I didn't even think about that. Palpatine's getting 1.25 percent per debuff, which they're all in and including vader so yeah that's alpatine's gonna be going fast and furious that's a good point very mm -hmm. good point ram um but yeah guys that is mara jade i highly suggest opening her a three star uh if you're gonna be running under palpatine you can afford that zeta now that i think about it i didn't even put two and two together when it came to that so i'm glad i brought you on today ram i'll be damned um you definitely want protection as well worth noting the protection circle is crucial because obviously with her uh with her unique first hand Mm -hmm. She's going to gain the uh, the bonuses with the protection uh, that's in her kit. So whenever whenever I do these visuals, the one on the left is always the higher. I guess I'm looking that way. The one on the left is always the highly recommended. But if you can't afford it, you can put that one on as well. So I totally agree with you. The circle and the triangle, mm -hmm. I've got prod on both of them. But again, when you go to relic levels, switch up that triangle. Right. I just need um, her to stay alive. I, I feel like in this case, uh, speed is more important especially at the relic level speed yep. is more important than the protection so if you only have a fast health sure put it on her but definitely consider putting on a protection because of the oil hand buff that she's going to get she's going to gain 10 percent max protection which stacks on top of her protection and so 10 percent of ma her max protection you want it as as high as possible so you can get the max amount of uh, bonuses from that um one little nice thing i did want to say about this uh i know you don't know lore more uh but Jedi, the the fact that she has this interaction with Jedi Luke is amazing, um, because in 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 Legends, um, she obviously was the love interest of Jedi Luke, and so the fact that she blinds him with love, for instance, That's what I said, just, love about that. it's yeah. like icing on the cake. It yep. really is. Yep, hundred hundred percent agree. If they need to add it, no. Are you probably going to take this team against Jedi Knight Luke? Probably not. Probably but not. Yeah. It's just it's it's so much. It's it's just cherry on top. Hundred percent. So. Relic priority, I put as a question mark. Um, I'm not sure because I do not have the ability to bring her to Relic. What do you think, Ram? Rating at 1 um, to 10. She doesn't have a ship. She does good work. 
I, just, I would I, say I don't see the I need would to say, rush her. Right, farm her up, and I'd say maybe maybe a seven, right? And the reason why I give her probably low is she is still a very good relic. Don't let, don't let that that ranking sway you. She's still a very good relic, and if you can spare it, absolutely, she's she's really good, and she can definitely do a lot of damage with that second Zeta with her being a relics. Um, but as as we said at the beginning of the video. She is absolutely usable at three stars gear 11 with the right team and the right the right mods on on the other characters so is it as much of a rush as some of these other characters to take up to relax probably not i don't think so and like i said guys that that one zeta is really good uh after reading over it. i do have a speed minimum goal of 300 on there um but that's at the post relic level if you can get her i would say probably 260 or so early on which is kind of my goal right now mm -hmm. but uh Overall, seriously, you need to open this character. She is so good. So good. Last notes, Ram. I'm done for Mar Jade. Uh, no, I don't have any. Her her base speed is 192. You guys are, are interested in that. We're base almost, speed is 192. We're almost to 1,000, uh, boys and girls. So let's get that follow in here. I appreciate you guys. Ram, we are one battalion strong. One battalion strong. See you guys. Shut up and sit down.